Okay then, in this video we'll continue setting up a PostGIS database. So in the previous video we installed PostgreSQL and then we enable it uh, a special extension called PostGIS. So now it's time to link our GeoJango project. I'm calling it GeoJango because we already uh, installed it, you know, GDAL and GeoJango and etc. That's why it became GeoJango project rather than Django project. So now it's time to link our GeoJango project into PostGIS uh, database. So at the time recording this video, so the following spatial database backends are supported um, by Django uh, project or Django uh, applications. So we need to we need to copy the first one and then we need to go to settings file. So I'm right now in settings file and then we need to find a section called databases. So engine will replace this one with this. And I will be sharing all these websites with you. So you just need, you don't need to type in this one. So you can do the same like, like I'm doing here, just copy and paste. So then we need to specify a database name it's gonna be Austral Culture Heritage Project in my case. Currently, it's pointing to db.sqlite website, uh, sorry, uh, database. So we will rename this to Austral Culture Heritage Project. Then we need to specify user and user will be in my case Postgres. This is a user we set, we created in our uh, Postgres SQL installation. So I can show this one to you later on. So we can then need to specify password. It's gonna be again Postgres in my case. Then we need to specify host. It's gonna be a local host. You can write localhost or you can say 127001. This one equals to localhost. Then we need to specify port. So port in my case would be 5433. In your case, if it's 5432, then write 5432. That's it. And now I would like to show you this Postgres user. So if I go to PG admin, in here we have a user called Postgres. So I'm specifying this Postgres user in my settings.py file. And this Postgres user is super user. So if I go to privileges, so you see it's a super user. So that means this user has all privileges read, write, create, um, create triggers, etc. So now I would like to show you some other options you can specify in your uh, settings PY relating to databases. And I will be sharing this website, all these websites with you. So in here, PostgreSQL notes. So here there are some more options and you can find them in the hosts page. So in here, that's host, how you specify host. This name, that this should be database name, then connection, maximum age, etc. I will be sharing all these websites with you. That's it regarding this video and we will continue this session in the next one.